Hi guys, welcome back to my channel at Putsi with me Putsi. And for today's video, I'm going to review and give you a little bit of my thoughts on some of the products from the brand called The Ordinary. I'm pretty sure you've heard of this brand before because it creates a lot of buzz when it came out. So yeah, I've tried them for a few months now, so I'm going to be able to show you the results. And if you want to know, if you want to see all about that, just keep on watching. So The Ordinary itself is a Canadian brand. It's a brand under the company called Desium. And Desium is like a mother company of The Ordinary. And also it produces an IOD, Nayot. I don't know how you call it and also Hylamite and a few other brands and their tagline is the abnormal beauty company which is weird to have that such claim but I agree with that kind of because I do think this brand is quite abnormal because they are not a gimmicky brand not that it's wrong with being gimmicky at all but I just think this brand is very straightforward with their products and the ingredients especially with this line which is the ordinary because most of their products only have like one or two active ingredients and they name their products after the active ingredients so they are just very simple and basic kind of which is why they call their brands the ordinary because they are very like best basic but they only contain ingredients that are proven to be beneficial for our skin and most of them are highly highly concentrated they don't put a bunch of ingredients in their product they don't put any fragrance to it so their products smells a little bit like chemically weird and not very pleasant which is what more luxurious skincare products have you know they smell amazing good and feels luxurious but this one is not and also they have a very simple packaging they also don't have a gimmicky fancy name and claim such as magic acne cream it can banish all of your acne in 24 hours or something like that they are very basic and ordinary but i do think they are not an ordinary product because i've seen real results within a few months of use and I do think the results is quite extraordinary. In my personal opinion, this brand is quite amazing for those of you who knows a lot about skincare or at least know what you're doing with your skin because it is very straightforward and they name their products after the active ingredients so you know exactly what to look for especially on the website like this one this is the niacinamide 10 percent 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 so you know exactly that this contains niacinamide and if you know a lot about skincare you probably know what niacinamide is but for those of you like me months ago who knows nothing about skincare it makes it really hard for me to buy their products even when i look at their website it's just a bunch of chemical words you know scientific words that i probably know nothing about niacinamide like what is that what's the benefit of niacinamide for my skin i know nothing about that so their name can be good and can be bad second they only contain one or two active ingredients in their products so for someone who used to put on more i don't know expensive or more higher end skincare products that has really complex ingredients in it this one may won't work as good it could be disappointing because it may not work as good or maybe it doesn't work as fast these products won't give you a big difference in just a few short amount of time you know because it's not packed with a lot of ingredients but then you said so is it a bad product then no 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 because in my personal experience because i have a very sensitive oily and acne prone skin it's hard to find a good products that can make my skin looks or feel better when i buy something i look at their names and then it say good for acne prone skin and then i use them on my face but it doesn't work well on me or it just makes my skin have an allergic reaction or it just makes my acne even worse 
because I may or may have a sensitive reaction to one or two ingredients in the product so it just end up makes my skin even worse not better but with these ordinary products I know exactly what I put into my skincare regimen so if I have any allergic reaction to the ordinary product I'll know exactly what ingredients I should avoid next time or also maybe because these ordinary products it's not heavily scented like any other more expensive luxurious skincare which for someone who has very sensitive skin like me it can be a bad thing because it may irritate my skin I can just build my own skincare routine skincare regimen that I know will work for me and I'm not going to be allergic to and because it doesn't have fancy packaging, fancy scents, and they don't have a gazillion ingredients in their products, it makes the products really, really affordable, which is amazing. They won't drain your bank account, even if you will buy three or four bottles of their products, it's still pretty affordable compared to some of the skincare products on the market right now. And honestly, because I was so excited about these products, about the ordinary, Months and months ago, I know almost nothing about skincare and I just, I don't know a lot about skincare. I just buy products that I think was good for me and then that's it. I use them on my face without having any background about the ingredients. But when I first wanted to buy the ordinary products, because it's so confusing, I looked them up so much. I watched so many reviews on YouTube. I read a lot of reviews and blogs and articles about the ordinary products. I try to look up the benefit of the ingredients of the products. And along the way, I personally think I learned a lot about skincare. And I, I just know a lot better now about skincare, about the ingredients, about how to apply products i feel like i am more educated now than i was before months ago i think the ordinary products really change my knowledge about skincare in general go back to the products alone the ordinary products are amazing because they are free from parabens sulfates mineral oil methyl chloride i don't know how to pronounce that but they are free from animal oils, they are free from coal tar, dyes, formaldehyde, mercury, oxybenzone. So this may be also vegan, I think, because they're free from animal oils and they are cruelty free. They also don't sell their products in China, which we all know in China, if you want to sell your products in China, you need to test on animals. So because they don't sell the products in China, they are 100% cruelty free. Most of their products come in a bottle like this. It has a dropper like this, and they came in this frosted bottle. It has a very simple design. It just looks like skincare products in my opinion. I personally like this. It just looks so clean and fresh and simple. I don't know, I personally like this. It looks like a skincare products. And if the products contain a more, I don't know, unstable ingredients or products that can have any contact with sunscreen, they will come in a bottle like this, which is a very dark tinted bottle, but it has the same dropper. And if the product comes in a cream, it will have a squeezy tube. I don't have the gel products or cream products from them and I also have this which is not the original bottle but the products that come in this bottle means I bought them with my sister I shared them because I was I always scared when I when I'm about to try new skincare products because I don't know I have a very sensitive skin like I said before so I just want to know I just want to see first if the products is good for my skin before I jump into buy a full size if I can you know also save some more money from any disappointment but half of the products I also bought them full size they mostly come in 30 milliliters of products and the price range is from around eight or nine dollars to fifteen dollars with the exception of some of the products like this the buffet is I believe most the most expensive one which is around 17 or 19 dollars so yeah, it's still pretty affordable compared to some of the products out there. Besides this bottle, 
we last you around three to four months or maybe even five and on their website they also recommend us to only use the maximum of three serum formulation in one skincare regimen now before i jump into the products i just want to remind you all of these ordinary products are not a miracle products it is a great products but it's not a miracle it won't work overnight it won't give you results in just a week but just give them some time be patient with them and wait for like two to three months to see if the products is good for you because in my personal experience i see the results after i use them for more than two months the first months i was like i was a bit skeptical because i don't see any difference in my skin just little difference here and there but i don't see major results but after two to three months i was like okay i love these products because it makes my skin feel and look even better so just be patient with them and just continue to use them and wait for the results for two to three months unless if you have a very serious allergic reaction or if it makes your skin have major irritation then you have to stop using them but if not just continue to use them and be patient with it so So this is my current skin condition. As you can see, I don't have any makeup on. I have my eyebrow, a little bit of mascara and sheer lipstick, and a little bit of face powder, but that's it. Now I'm going to show you footage from my first videos. In these first few clips, I haven't tried any of the ordinary products. I haven't used them. As you can see, my skin is very, very red now i have still a lot of redness on my face but and i have a lot of acne all the time not as much as two years ago or three years ago but as you can see my skin is not looking very good so now we know you know the overview about the brands the products the pros and cons in my opinion let's just jump right into the products that i personally tried I'm not going to mention them in order of what I like the most and the least or vice versa but this one, the first one is definitely my favorite and this is the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. If you want to try only two or three products from them, I would definitely highly suggest this one. It's just a really good oil, really good products overall. and. I know I said I have very very oily skin so you might be wondering why are you putting an oil into your skincare routine but trust me you need to put an oil or moisturizer to your skincare routine even though you have very oily skin and I learned this from Leah Yu I'm going to link that video link her channel down below because she is an amazing youtuber she knows a lot about skincare and I learned a lot about skincare from her too and in one of her videos, she said that if you have oily skin, you still need an oil because you may have an oily skin, but you also may have a dehydrated skin because your skin may think you need extra moisture into your skin, so they produce even more oil. And the difference between the dry and oily skin, if you have oily skin, that means you are able to produce a lot of oil so if you have a dehydrated skin your skin will think that they don't produce enough oil so they produce more and more oil for your skin and that just makes your skin even more oily than it already has because your skin is dehydrated so that's why you still need an oil or moisturizer in your skincare as long as you know exactly what kind of oil to put into your skin and if you have oily skin you need to put a dry oil into your skin which is what rosehip seed oil is it has a more thinner consistency than any other oil like coconut oil or argan oil or castor oil you know those oils is like thick and very greasy and also besides the consistency rosehip seed oil is rich in linoleic acid and linoleic acid is a form of vitamin a it's high on omega fatty acid it's a really great oil for anti-aging rosehip oil also has amazing healing properties 
and I've read some articles before they said that rosehip seed oil was used by ancient Egyptians, Mayans because of that reason and because it is full of vitamins, antioxidants, and essential fatty acid it is also an amazing oil to correct dark spots while maintaining the moisture of your skin. It can also be used to reduce acne scars and fine lines which as you can see I have a lot of acne scars but since I have a lot of deep acne scars it's not work that well with my deep acne scars but for redness dark spots and like small scars it works amazing the fatty acid in this can also promote skin regeneration it improves the skin's flexibility and permeability just help the skin repair itself it also helps to reduce the redness and hyperpigmentation caused by acne scars which i have a lot i don't know why i used to like that and what i love the most about this oil in particular is because it doesn't break me out which was the case with a lot of oil i've tried in the past even when I tried, I don't know what oil is that, you know, an oil that's really good for acne. I'm going to put the name here because I don't remember that now. But I used that one and it breaks me up badly because it's just too thick maybe and it is too hydrating. Which, I don't know, may clog my pores and makes my skin break out and have a lot of whiteheads. But that doesn't happen when I, when I use this one because it gives my skin... The right amount of hydration and doesn't clog my pores. Now, why should you buy the rosehip seed oil from the ordinary in particular? Because the rosehip seed oil from the ordinary is cold pressed and organic. And if you're looking to put an oil into your skincare, it better be cold pressed. A cold pressed oil is known to be better for our skin because they press this without any heat and without any chemical extraction so they were able to maintain its natural nutrients and all the important and, and beneficial properties but the cold pressed usually cost the, the price to be higher which is why I love this ordinary one in particular because it is much much more affordable than any other rose hip seed oil on the market and I usually use this at night because I don't like the feeling of this oil in the morning. I know it's not as greasy as any other oil, but in the morning, I still feel this to be a little bit, you know, greasy underneath makeup. But at night, it feels amazing. I usually just to put two to three drops into my finger. I do this motion and then apply them with tapping motion all over my, all over my face. It feels oily and slippery and a bit greasy at first, but not too much. But after a few minutes, it just sinks right into my skin. It feels amazing and it really makes my skin feel so smooth. And it sits on top of the serum I used before this nicely. And the next morning when I wake up, my skin just feels very moisturized and looks like right from within. And in case you're wondering why I look a little bit different from the first few minutes of this video, it's because I record this in a different day. I have the same. So let's move on to the second product. And this one, it's a little bit of a meh product for me because I don't know why I said that, but yeah, it's just okay. It's nothing incredible, but it's also not bad. It's just okay, I guess. This is the Caffeine Solution 5% plus EGCG and this is a water solution so you are supposed to apply this before any heavier creams or oils. Maybe if you use this in conjunction with any other eye creams, you are supposed to put this before that. But I personally love to use this at night because in the morning I like to put another eye cream so I use this at night because it is quite potent and highly concentrated. This contains EGCG which comes from green tea and combine that with the caffeine, it is a really good product for under your eye to reduce any dark under eye and also reduce the puffiness under your eye, also reduce the appearance of cellulite under your eye and this also contains hyaluronic acid but because the caffeine in this one is quite high which is 5%, the risk of irritations 
can also be higher but there's no scientific study set about the caffeine you know about the benefit of caffeine for under your eye and also the long-term side effect so if you use this for a very long time i don't know the side effect of this one so that's why i only like to use this at night or maybe once in two days and yes it is really hydrating for under my eye but i don't know about the but i don't know if it can actually reduce the darkness for under my eyes because while it is really good for puffiness under my eyes i don't have a very dark under eye so i can't say a lot about that but for puffiness under my eyes yes it can reduce that but I personally think not so much because because for years I have a very very bad sleeping situation. I cannot sleep before 2 in the morning so I always have puffiness under my eye. And after I used this month later, I started to change my sleep time. I really changed my sleeping habit and I can sleep at 12 or 11 at night so I have a better sleep. And that's maybe also the reason why the puffiness under my eyes is reduced. But other than the puffiness, I don't think it works amazing because even though I don't have a dark under eye, I also have like a very fine line here under my eye because of my sleeping situation, which I very regret. But the lines here under my eyes is not gone or reduced whatsoever. So yes, it works, but nothing amazing. So I may have to pass on this. Maybe I won't purchase this again in the future. The next product I'm going to talk about is this one, this ugly bottle. <laughs> and this is the Advanced Retinoid 2%. Well, at least when I bought this, but now I believe it's called Granactive Retinoid 2% Emotion. But now they also have a lot of retinoid that you can see on the website. Like the newer name suggests, it is an emotion foam and you are supposed to apply this only at night time because it may have your skin to be more sensitive to sun to UV. So that's why if you use this at night, the next morning, the next day, you are supposed to put some sunscreen on your face. But I personally think you always, always have to put on some sunscreen if you are going outside, even if even if you're staying at home all the time like me, you still have to put on some sunscreen just to be safe. It sinks nicely into the face. It has a nice spreadability. And the main ingredient in this one is called HPR, hydroxypinocolone retinoid, which is a more advanced form of retinoid. And they also believe that this form of retinoid is more powerful and more stable than the retinol one. And the retinoid is really great for anti-aging because it is more advanced than the retinol one. It's supposed to reduce any sign of aging better than the retinol one while also not as harsh. And I believe that is true because I personally don't have any bad purging situation right after I use this. But some people said they have a purging state for a few weeks. But while it happened to me, it that it didn't happen for a very long time. I only have a purging state for about three to seven days. I just have a few white bumps in my face, but that's it. After that, I'm totally fine with it. So maybe if you want to try this one, and especially if you never have any retinol or retinoid product in your skincare routine, you may have to take it step by step. Maybe try the retinol 1% first and then move on to this and when you use this maybe you can try to put this on only twice a week and then three times a week and then slowly build them up but now i personally use this every single night so maybe that's also why they have a lot of retinoid type on their website some people still have irritation or extreme purging state while using this they have a more gentle one and a more harsh one which it, which i believe it may be like the middle or the more hardcore one so maybe take it step by step using the more gentle one and then after you used to that product you can try this one next and besides its benefit for anti-aging i also think it 
helps to fight new acne because before I use any of the ordinary products I have a lot of acne for years and when I first try the ordinary products I still I don't have a bad acne like I used to like two years ago but I still have a few acne around my face and every single month I have new acne new acne you know but now I only have one or two acne just at the time of the month you know but after a week it's gone and I don't have any acne and then that time of the month come again I have one new acne but nothing major and I usually have a very large cystic acne but now I only have like this one right here it's quite small well it's big but you know it's nothing like I used to have so I do think it helps to fight my acne in conjunction with other ordinary products I'm going to talk next but yeah I think it helped and why because retinoid can also help to uncloak your pores and also helps any other skincare products you put on next or before this to penetrate your skin even better it can also prevent any dead skin cells to cloak your pores which can cause you new acne it helps to control your oil production and at the same time helps you to kill bacteria that can cause you any acne and inflammation on your face so which is why I love this one so much and although on the website they don't tell you this but I read a lot of articles and they said that you're not supposed to use retinoid at the same time with AHA and BHA products or any products that have benzoyl peroxide in it so if you have any other products that contains AHA, BHA, or benzoyl peroxide, you may want to use them alternately. Use the AHA one tonight and then use the retinol or retinoid the next day because all of those ingredients can exfoliate your face. So if you use them all at the same time, it may be too much exfoliation in one night and just can cause you irritation and redness or just cause your skin to be very sensitive and the next one is the one I mentioned before that I personally think helps me to fight any acne in conjunction with the retinol wine wine in conjunction with the retinoid one and this one is the niacinamide 10% plus zinc percent niacinamide is a vitamin b3 it grades to help reduce any redness and hyperpigmentation on our skin. And because the concentration of the niacinamide one in this one is quite high, which is 10%, it's also great for those of you who have enlarged pores and uneven skin tone because it can help to brighten up your skin complexion. And I believe it is true because I've seen a big difference in my skin overall. My skin is not as red as it used to. And the dark spot and pigmentation around my face is less noticeable and my mom commented on my skin the other day and she said that my skin looks better it's not as red and it just looks brighter than it used to it doesn't look as dull and i used this one the longest i used this one first before i use any other ordinary products i used them probably since february or march and I've seen a huge huge difference in terms of my skin and it's still pretty red because I have a lot of deep acne scars but if you compare this to January it's such a huge difference I don't look as red and zinc in this one combined with the niacinamide can act as an anti-inflammatory while at the same time can control your sebum activity while on the website they say that it's not a cure for acne but it's great to prevent any new acne which is why I personally think this is such a great product for everyone but especially for those of you who have acne prone skin and very oily skin like me but you cannot use niacinamide with vitamin C because vitamin C and niacinamide works in a different pH so if you combine them together they won't perform at their full potential you can use niacinamide both in the morning and at night and you're supposed to use them before any heavier heavier cream but just be aware if you use them in the morning if you use them before any foundation some people say that it can bold up and crumble up and any other product or foundation just don't work well on top of the niacinamide it kind of peels up a little bit i personally never tried to put them on before a foundation because I already heard so many people say that about the niacinamide so I only use them 
at night so i can't really confirm that but it is kind of sticky when i put them on my face it sinks nicely into the skin but while it has a nice spreadability it it also feels a little bit sticky to the touch and when it sets it feels a little bit tacky just a little so this one is slightly different than any other ordinary products because it this is called the buffet they don't name this after their active ingredients which is exciting it has a lot of ingredients in this that are proven to be beneficial for our skin it is a multi-technology peptide serum and this i believe is the most expensive one on the ordinary line but if you compare this to any other complex serum on the market it is still very affordable it's great to find any signs of aging such as fine lines wrinkles and the loss of elasticity on your skin and it's suitable for every skin type so it's just a, an overall great serum to put into your skincare routine it also quite hydrating and can boost your collagen level and I personally think this one and the rosehip seed oil one is the must-have products from the ordinary in in my opinion so if you want to try this one maybe try this buffet one because it is a really great product it has a nice spreadability and it sinks right into the face it's different from the niacinamide one because when I first apply them yes it feels a little bit sticky but when it sets it it sets very nicely into the skin it doesn't feel tacky at all like the niacinamide one which is why i like to use this buffet one in the morning and any other product just sits nicely on top of this and i personally think this is such a great serum for me because it can boost my collagen level and i need a lot of collagen to help reduce all of these acne scars on my face and especially if you only have a very few small acne scars it's great to reduce the appearance of your scars because collagen can help to regenerate your skin cells but it doesn't work like magic on my skin because my scars is very very deep so i still need a dermapan treatment to my face but if i combine that treatment with this serum i really think it can help quite a lot and the last one I'm going to talk about is this one. This is the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. And this contains 30% alpha hydroxyl acids such as glycolic, lactic, tartaric, and citric acids. 2% beta hydroxyl acid which is salicylic acid. Also contain hyaluronic acid cross polymer, vitamin B5, black carrot, and Tasmanian pepperberry. The AHA in this one can exfoliate the top surface of your skin which is great to reduce any pigmentation or redness on your skin, great to even out your skin tone and also brighten up your skin complexion. And the BHA in this one is great to exfoliate your skin even deeper and better into the skin which can help to clear your pore congestion. So the AHA and BHA in this one combine together really great to help your skin looks even brighter and looks radiant and at the same time helps to fight any visible blemishes and the formula in this one is also great to improve your skin texture if you use this for a long time it can also help to reduce any fine lines and small scars and if you are scared to use any peeling solution before because it can be too harsh on your skin sometimes you don't have to worry because it contains Tasmanian pepperberry and on their website they said that the Tasmanian pepperberry derivative helps to reduce irritation caused by the acid and also the hyaluronic acid in this one can bring your skin even more comfort also the vitamin B5 helps to assist the healing process and the black carrot acts as an antioxidant and you're not supposed to use this with any other exfoliants at the same night and you can only use this once or twice in a week i personally use them only once a week and the way you're supposed to do this is you only put two to three drops into your face and then spread them all over your face and leave them on for 10 minutes at the very maximum and then after 10 minutes rinse your face with warm water and I can see a visible result after I rinse them off and the next morning my skin just feels very smooth, very soft, just very feels very plump and looks a lot brighter like it's spread from within. 
I just love this peeling solution very much and mostly because I can see the difference but at the same time it doesn't irritate my face when I first put them on my face I can I don't feel a thing but after a minute or so I can feel it start to work on my skin it start to feel a little bit tingling it has a little bit of tingling sensation but after a minute it's completely gone it feels it doesn't feel harsh and it doesn't burn my skin so yeah it's a very mild peeling solution but works amazing so that's it for the reviews that's the only product I have tried from the ordinary line and I personally love the products that I've tried so far so would I repurchase yes maybe except that caffeine solution one and I'm about to order the niacinamide one and I'm also going to order the azelaic acid suspension I believe that's what it's called and would I recommend this to you guys absolutely yes because I can see difference after a few months I've tried them it works amazing on my skin it doesn't irritate my skin and I just believe that the ordinary products works very well for those of you who have a very sensitive skin leave me a comment down below if you have tried any other ordinary products especially if you have a similar skin condition like me how these ordinary products works on you if you like them if you love them or maybe if it maybe if you hate them what are the products you know and yeah i just love to know your thoughts on the products and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope this video is somewhat helpful and if you do like this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye guys that was weird that was weird the ordinary <clears throat> it will have like a the product that comes in this oh whoa <clears throat> and <clears throat> oil formulation now this like I said, very thin and dry. I don't know why I said that again and again. Like it was used. And also zinc in this wine. This wine, why I keep saying wine? I don't drink wine.